Have you ever seen a footballer with legs as smooth as a baby's bottom and wonder why they bother? Well, it turns out it's not just for aesthetic. Maybe they're tired of their girlfriends mistaking them for Chewbacca. I mean, let's be real here. When you got more air on your legs than a golden retriever, things can get confusing. Jokes aside, here are the exact reasons why footballers wax their gorilla gams or shaggy shins. Honestly, this will blow your mind away. One might think that footballers shave their legs just to make sure that they look better in front of the cameras that chase them wherever they go on the field. But that's not the main reason. In fact, having no body hair helps to treat the injury smoothly. Who knew being as smooth as a dolphin could actually be helpful in soccer? You see, when players get injured on the field, it's a real bloodbath out there. And with all that hair flying around, it's like trying to navigate a jungle gym blindfolded. But fear not, my follicle-challenged friends, because without hair in the way, medical teams can easily identify the extent of the injury. And let's be real, when you're in pain, the last thing you want is a medic fumbling around in your hairy armpits like they're searching for a needle in a haystack. So, here's the lead not-so-hairy legs that make the treatment of footballers easier. Not only does it make injuries easier to assess, but it also makes bandage removal an absolute breeze. Have you ever tried ripping a band-aid off a hairy leg? It's like trying to peel a banana without bruising it. But with the hairless leg, you can rip off those bandages like they're nothing. It's like taking a sticker off from a clean, shiny surface. Now, picture footballers who get injured a lot and use bandages. Alexander Sandra Pato, Jack Wilshere and Bale might understand the misery that we're talking about. Had these injured players not shaved their legs, ripping off the bandages would have been a nightmare for them. That's why footballers take matters into their own hands, or razors rather, and shave those legs until they're as smooth as a freshly zamboni ice rink. The next one's even more interesting. See, footballers love a good massage after a tough game. It's like a happy ending to a stressful story. But here's the thing. If you're hairy like a Sasquatch, that massage is going to be about as effective as a wet noodle. Well, let me tell you, having hairy legs as a footballer is like trying to rub a balloon on a carpet. No matter how much you try to massage that hairy leg, it's like rubbing your hands against a cactus. So, too much body hair can lessen the effectiveness of a massage, which is why some players will shave areas that are commonly worked on. Finally, some players fall in love with their naked noodles because, of course, looks. You see, having hairless legs is the secret to success on the pitch. It's like having a secret weapon that nobody else knows about. Imagine Tom Holland's baby face, but on your legs. That's the level of smoothness we're talking about. Not only do hairless legs make you look like a Greek god, but they also make your opponents weak in the knees. They'll be so distracted by your silky smooth legs that they won't even know what hit them. And who can blame them? We all know that nothing screams winner like hairless legs. Now, I left this one until the end because it might sound a little bit like nonsense. However, some soccer players pretend that they feel a little bit faster when they shave their body hair. Although it might not seem like shaving your body hair will make you run faster, there are still some benefits of doing so. Research on cyclists has shown that shaving can reduce drag, resulting in slightly faster movement. So, while it may not be a major difference, there is some evidence to suggest that shaving could have positive impacts on your runs. But you'll argue that this study is on cyclists and not runners, but still, it shows that body hairs can affect how fast things move. But this leads us to another question. Is leg shaving here to stay? It seems like every single year it's more prevalent than ever before. Maybe at some point it'll go out of style, but it feels like footballers are gravitating towards it because of its benefits. It's not just for the ladies anymore, trust me. More and more athletes in all kinds of sports are jumping on the leg shaving bandwagon, and it's not slowing down anytime soon. So grab your razors and get ready to join the trend that's taking the athletic world, or should I say football world, by storm. While you're at it, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any videos we post. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!